Thank you. You're also, I, it's very rare I see an audience that could have parented. <laughs> so, thank you for that, sir. I could have dated you and you, ma'am. Thank you. Um, my, no, my, um, my husband uh, goes to Brandeis, ironically, but MIT was my first choice, too. <laughs> because I'm very skilled. Um, I'm, I got married like really old because I always felt like I was waiting for something and as it turns out, it was for my husband to graduate from high school. Um, and again, I'm good. But you know, it's hang up, hang up the party pan. It's Jesse because you know, when you open a fortune cookie and it says whore, it's time to settle down. Right here. I'm, I'm walking around the mic because they can't move it. Very stiff. Okay, engineer, anybody? Something? Um, thank you. Well, uh, my husband, like I said, uh, was an actor in New York when I married him, and now he's getting his PhD in molecular biology at Brandeis. And when I find the person who taught my arm candy how to read, I'm gonna fucking kill him. No, okay. no. Nah, nah. I don't, he's like, you know what's interesting about genetics? I'm like, not a fucking thing. <laughs> Not like, really. No, my, my sister is a neurobiologist, my brother-in-law's a molecular biologist, my husband's a molecular biologist, and my sister has a degree in physics. I haven't been awake for a family function since 1998. <laughs> Nothing interesting. Um, he was, yeah, he was young. I also, he drinks like a girl, because he gets a brand ice. Um, he drinks like a girl, um, um, and uh, Long Island iced teas makes him sensitive. Which really pisses me off. I wanted to take a bottle of Jack Daniels and say, here, don't come back till you got a record deal or a felony. Something. <laughs> me interesting, okay? Because my mother's Spanish and Irish, okay? Really good cheap dates our family, you know? We got crematoriums are always happy to see us because we're flammable, you know? <laughs> you know, you don't even need like an oven, just a picnic table and a zippo. She was gassy and stuff. <laughs> and um, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I hate when an audience is smarter than me. Everybody's smarter than me. My daughter's smarter. She's six, right? She found a picture of when I was pregnant. She comes in and she goes, "How did I get in there?" And I said, "I don't know. I was drunk at the time." <laughs> she goes, "Ask Daddy, okay? Why are you at it? Ask him about the war in Iraq and tampons. That'll keep you busy for a while." <laughs> She, uh, her, and she's very bright, right? Um, and her intelligence is a point of contention, a little. Um, when she was about one, uh, we were in this um, diner, right? And she has a bar, a, bo a bottle, <laughs> bar. No, that was later. Uh, <laughs> she has a bottle at the end of the table, and she drops her bottle off the end of the table. Looks at the lady sitting in the booth next to us, and she goes, "Oh shit." And I thought, that was just advanced. That was great. And he goes, that is not acceptable. And I said, well, cocksuckers do think a word. <laughs> something to build up to. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the word cocksucker. Really, when you think about it. Loser means you're worthless. Cocksucker means you're friendly. <laughs> I know some people who like to see more of them around. <laughs> Fourteen years, no one noticed. That, it's very true because the kind I had it stared straight ahead, and I would black out, right? So instead of um, medical attention, a lot of times I just get dates. <laughs> Which is very wrong. <laughs> I swear I 
did not mean that to be a dick joke. That was like, I'm so sorry. It just slipped up. No, if I had a seizure right now, you would give me money. And then who cares? You know, you wake up with a handful of cash, again, just like a date. You're hearing me. So, see, now I'm trying to remember my act, because it's stuck. Um, no, I, um, I, I want to go in, into a coma, like, until February anyway, because it's like George Bush keeps breaking shit, right? When we hired him, there were nine planets. <laughs> Can't prove it, but I know he had something to do with it. Can't prove it, I know. I, I, I really miss, I was an East Village girl. Anybody from New York? No, just me. Good. Um, no, I had more tattoos on my torso than like a Malaysian hooker. Really. But, but I'm like a, a hardcore New York girl. I don't drink anymore, which kind of sucks. I miss it, man. I miss like, I had that friend who I used to drink with that I didn't really like. I just wanted to see what was going to happen next, you know? Um, and we were sitting in a bar one night. And she turns to me and she said, The Catholic Church vomited the potato vomit. And I said, well, if there was no potato famine, where'd the potatoes go? <laughs> and she said, uh, the vodka, it's huge. There's not root cellars or catacombs. And then they drank a whole lot more, and it made sense. <laughs> and I, then I remembered, I was raised Catholic, I remembered this song, and went, Greece, choose not to assess, DJT and glory, and excelsis deo, hide the potato. <laughs> <laughs> That's my time, my name is Jesse Body. thank you.